You want to hear a gin story? There is a person that once told me that he has become adept at uh, removing gin from people. We do believe in such a thing called jinn possession, but it's not an obligatory Islamic belief. Let me just put it out there for you. It's not obligatory or recommended to believe in jinn possession. However, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal said, we know it exists. We know it. Imam Ahmad's son himself said, can a jinn enter a person and take over that person's body? He said, yes, we've seen it. It's well known that it happens. Talks with a different voice, has enormous amounts of strength, etc. In any event, if you don't want to believe in it, no problem. There is no blemish in a person's religion if he doesn't believe that jinn possess people. You have to believe that jinn exists. You have to believe that jinn whisper to people. You have to even believe that a jinn can touch a person. But you, you don't have to believe in any circumstance that jinn can enter into people. Anyway, there's a reason I'm telling you this story because there's a benefit. He extracted a jinn from a kid. And the jinn entered Islam. And he said to him, let me tell you Muslim something. The number one tool that we use against you is porn. Number two, anime. No way. That's what he said. The said that? Yeah. He said that um, we use anime, people are addicted to it, and our goal is to make you Satan worshiper. If we don't make that goal, it's to make you an atheist. If we don't hit that goal, it's to make you gay. Not my words, not my words, but I'm just passing it on to think that sometimes maybe anime is not so pure for everybody. It's not, not Mickey Mouse here. Maybe there are some other agendas behind that. And I personally didn't understand it because all I understand anime to be is a style. So it could be a good anime, it could be a bad anime, right? But, but the question is, what's the majority? I think that's the fair approach what is the majority right is it good messages or bad messages because as i understand it it's just a style like why can't someone make a muslim anime cartoon right upholding tawhid right or just neutral just neutral a neutral story about a, a boy and his dog or something like that right a neutral story is it f possible i think it is right i'm not an expert in this thing a wholesome one agrees with me He's the one who wants to talk to Shailteen. Okay. <laughs> to Jen, I mean. Uh, listen, I wouldn't go there. Wholesome one, stay wholesome. Don't get involved in the jinn. Atiq Rahman says it's a it's a it's full of sexualization. And I was informed now that there is an entire field of porn that is anime. Yeah. And he said that that's sort of more crazy. Because humans, when a human being is doing pornography, there's a limit to what the human can do. But this is cartoon pornography. So do we have to give a ruling on cartoon pornography now? It's, un it's unlawful. I'll tell you why unlawful. The ruling in Islam is sexual pleasure in any way, shape, and form is only allowed from your spouse. All right? I mean, back in the old days, there was ma malakat yaminuk, right? Which doesn't exist anymore at least in our world that we live in here. Okay? Maybe in Mauritania it exists. But, and in the future, who knows that that institution of the world may come back and uh, the rules would apply. But ultimately, uh, cartoon, any kind of pornography, even if they created a pornography which was with objects, it would be unlawful. Sexual pleasure from looking, touching, thinking, what have you, is only lawful for your spouse, through your spouse, that's it. A wholesome one says anime is a cult and obvious to the trained eye. A friend of mine who's in med school published an academic paper in a medical journal proving that anime causes autism. What? There's a lot wow. of overstimulation, I think. Right? Like, yeah. And the idea of anime is like you're being sucked. A lot of these people, like, uh, if you look at the ones who have gone into the deep end of anime, yeah. they're so out of touch with reality. Like, they're mm -hmm. completely sucked into a virtual yeah. world. Of like characters that don't exist and they've made their entire life about these people so I, first of all i think the waste of time is a whole nother thing right but see i can't um, i transmitted what that brother what that sheikh told me he is a sheikh and he says he's warning everyone against anime i'm just saying that i'm transmitting it because i believe i believe him but i don't have i don't have belief based on knowledge 
You know what I mean? Like I believe the source. I believe you. My level of belief is low because I don't have knowledge of it, right? And all I, it, it was a bit surprising to me too because all I know about anime is that it's a style of making the cartoon. But I also know that it's a waste of time. Waste of time at a certain point. You know what our, in our fiqh, yasiru lahwi halal. That's it. A little bit of, of, halal, of meaningless entertainment is halal. When I sit at the end of the day, and I watch a couple highlights of something. And you watch some soccer or football. A little bit. Like five minutes, ten minutes we're saying. We're not saying uh, binging like this. Even if you were to spread it a little bit and watch a whole game. Right? That's a big waste of time. Three hours to do nothing. Okay. On the treadmill. Fine. At least you're exercising. But yasirullah. A little bit of waste of time is okay to, to, as they say, take the edge off. Relax yourself a little bit. These guys are watching episodes. The show is a thousand episodes. And each show, let's say, is 20 minutes. A thousand divided by three. Let's say it's 900 divided by three. 300 hours. <laughs> Ertaro was barely held out because of how much people watched it all night and barely woke up for fudge. Let's watch the conquest and watch how Muslims conquer. And then let's miss Fetch. So um, you got to keep in mind that, uh, subhanAllah, uh, you just keep in mind the waste of time is one thing. And, and this is actually like, you don't realize how much, um, how many of the youth are actually like obsessed with anime, I think. It's actually like a, not addressed enough. Well, from the waste of time is, is easy to say, right? Uh, the waste of time is easy to say. Uh, the content of it, I trust my friend who told me this. I can't give you answers on knowledge, but he says uh, that it, it's, it never leads to righteousness. It always leads. There was one guy, he said that his... By the way, there are some Muslims who love anime. Okay, There, are, there was one guy who said that um, when he told him this, he made his kids stop watching anime he said, he said, Wallahi, the kid's attitude towards me improved over time. And when he was watching his attitude towards me, like he, he talked to me so rudely, etc. Allahu Adam. So don't clip that part that we just said, uh, the comment on anime, because I'm qualifying that by saying that I can't, ima I can't imagine how it's not possible to produce a good version of that. And here's a question for you. Does it become... Almost like um, a good thing to produce a good version of that, right? To, 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 it's like, imagine if there were no Muslims on the internet and all that existed on the internet was 90% bad stuff. Gambling, porn, other waste of time. Some will say the internet's haram. I think is similar to that, right? It's not the internet that's haram. It's what's on it that's haram. It's the messages and the excess that is unlawful. So it becomes synonymous because that's the only thing that's there. It, do you notice that there's no one who casually watches that stuff? You're either an addict or you're nothing. I don't know anyone who casually watches it. You either know it or you don't. But people are, it's either they're binge. Like I can casually watch soccer, football, or basketball. Nobody casually watches anime. They're like all in, yeah. right? So it's the excess is one thing. The content is another thing. Jasmine Rice agrees and says, I saw friends hypnotized. 